Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are looking at the Unimouse Contour. It's a mouse. This could be the only mouse you need, but we'll find out shortly. This is a great mouse for people who have wrist issues. I don't know, maybe you're a designer, maybe you're a video editor, maybe you use a mouse a lot, maybe you like to game. I don't know if this is actually a gaming mouse, but it might be okay. It might be good to use. It's definitely worth checking out. Let's get started. <clears throat> so in the box, you get the adjustment card. It tells you how to adjust it. You've got a more user manual, which is like a leaflet. Not bad. And then you have the mouse and a cable. So let's have a look. So this could be the only mouse you ever need. And here's the reason. The contour mouse is actually designed with four different features which allow you to change the way and shape of the actual mouse. The first of which is the body tilt. So you can change the body tilt from 35 degrees, which is where it sits normally, all the way up to 70 degrees. Now, you can actually buy mice which are vertical, a lot like this. You can buy them from any online computer store. But what if you need something which is in between the 35 degrees and the 70 degrees? This will allow you to get that. So you can find exactly what degrees you're looking for and then just set it up. And it's got a good hold to it so it's not going to move. Like you've got to put a bit of pressure on it to actually get it into the right position and then it just sits there. So it's very comfortable to use after that. The second of the features is the thumb support. Now the thumb support has actually got three different ways of being changed. Uh, you can extend it in and out of the mouse. So if you have a look from the side, you can see right now it sits right inside the mouse. If I pull it, it comes out by one centimeter. The second change you can make to the thumb support is the rotation. So you can actually rotate this thumb support to any degree that you want. It sits on a ball joint, which you can see it sits on a ball joint, as you can see here, and that allows you to move the thumb support as you need uh, to find the perfect position. So once the thumb is actually on there, you can set it to however you want. You put a bit of pressure on it till you find what's comfortable, and then just let it rest. The position that it holds, it's, it takes a bit of pressure to move this, so if you're just naturally resting your thumb, it's not gonna move, it'll hold your thumb in place. The third change you can make to the thumb support is to actually move it back and forward. So it actually, you, you might be able to see here, if I do this, you've got a bit of a gap there at the front. If I, I then, I can then push all the way forward and then you'll see I have a gap at the back. So the thumb support can actually slide back and forth. With these four changes, you can actually make the mouse as comfortable as possible for you, the user, which is actually kind of perfect because that's ideally what you want to do. You want to make it as comfortable as possible. It's an ergonomic mouse. It's supposed to be there to relieve any pressure on your wrist. It's a great mouse. It's got a good look to it. The plastic that they're using is the same plastic you'd find on pretty much any mouse out there. Um, I think I've got the same plastic on my Dell mouse, on my HP mouse, my Microsoft mouse. Every mouse I have has exactly the same plastic, so there's no real uh, difference here. The price you're actually paying for is the fact that this is an ergonomic mouse that can be changed in any way you want. You get quite a few different buttons. You get three buttons at the top. Now, a number of mice have actually dropped the middle button. Uh, they put it back in because your your hand rests naturally in this position, which means your middle finger can actually be used for an additional button. Your right click actually falls uh, on the finger, which is just to the right of your middle finger. You've got a scroll wheel, which is easily accessible. Uh, this, again, rolls really nicely. So it's not as smooth as the LG mouse I have, so if people prefer smooth, you're not going to really like this too much. Let me see if I can get this on recording. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a there's very subtle clicks as you roll through it. I like the fact that it's got a good rubber grip to the top of the uh, scroll wheel as well. So in addition to these three buttons, the scroll wheel actually has a button on its own. So you've got four buttons at the top, and then you've got two buttons on the side here. One and two. Uh, and their position, just where your thumb is. They've really thought about the layout of this. 
uh, and I do like they could have had the buttons so the thumb buttons move with the support because obviously if your hands are that big that you have to move the support forward it would be a good idea to move the buttons with it right so you get a USB cable the cable is micro USB uh, it's actually a very long cable you also get this dongle you get this receiver as well you can actually have all of this plugged in and if your desktop is far away from where you need to use the mouse you can actually use this as an extension to bring the receiver closer to where your mouse is so that way you can always use it no matter where you are this is the way forward this is essentially what you've got to do but the fact that they give you a micro USB cable means that you can charge it whenever you're not using it and just plug it back in when you're ready to actually start using it again good idea Contour well done right so let's get this charged up Right, so these five lights here will only turn on when you've actually turned the mouse on. As you can see, green flashing light means it's waiting for a connection to a device. I'm just going to grab my laptop. After you've actually plugged in the cable and the receiver's connected, you can see the green flashing light stops. Okay, so with this button, if you press it once and you wait, it tells you what cursor speed it's at. So right now, it's at 800, and then it tells you the battery life. Now if I press it once and just keep pressing, I can cycle through the different cursor speeds. So it goes from 800 to 1000, 1200, 1400, 1600. Then you press it again and you'll see that it goes red, that's 1800, now it's 2000, 2200, 2400 and 2800. All this is is just a cursor speed for DPI settings. So obviously the higher it is, the quicker your mouse is going to move on the screen. So, conclusion. You get a very long micro USB cable. You get a dongle, which actually is a converter from micro USB to a female USB port. And then you get your wireless receiver. Okay, in the mouse, you have the uh, body tilt, which goes from 35 degrees up to 70 degrees. You have three buttons where your fingers rest. You've got a button where the scroll wheel is. You've got two buttons where the thumb support is. So you've got the thumb support extension which you can pull away from the mouse or you can push it into the mouse. You've got the rotation which allows you to change how your thumb rests uh, and at what angle. And then you've got the length. So this allows you to have it so that your thumb can be closer to the back or closer to the front. You've then got the uh, cursor speed settings of which there are 10 ranging from 800 up to 2800. Is this the mouse for you? Probably, if you've got wrist issues. If you're looking for a cool mouse, this is the one. If you're looking for a mouse which is gonna help with your wrist support, this is definitely gonna be one of those mice, uh, if not the mouse that you need. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's got everything you need. You've seen all the um, changes you can make.